sorry for one more interruption so now we are back with the waveform and now we are getting a proper waveform by the way i have changed the cro as well as signal generator now we will see in this kind of signal generator in exam you can get both kind of signal generator so thank god it has only one output wire i will connect it here only then this level knob should be at max so this level knob can adjust your level and you can have coarse frequency adjustment using a frequency knob so this is giving a proper sinusoid now we will connect this sinusoid to our circuitry back to our circuit rlc series very simple circuit but only problem we face in this experiment is that CRO adjustment and signal generator adjustment. So we'll move back. I will connect both the grounds to my lovely register at the load. Now this is the direct input given. I will remove this. So that is my cute capacitor. Till that time, this resistor is going to an inductor and inductance low is going to the, hey, here is my cute capacitor. Now this capacitor will connect to our input, this is my input. So the input is now set. Okay, we are facing few problems, the crocodiles. Oh, this is only half and we will connect a load so this is how you should get your output on the CRO now first reading we will take at 200 Hertz now you should adjust this time per division knob so we are getting exactly 1 2 3 4 divisions into means 4 of 1 so 0.8 into output 5 so about 4 volts is my current output at 224k the second reading we will take will be at the resonance so we will move back to the CRO we will just stabilize this waveform now this is actually 1 2 3 and 0.4 so 3.4 into 5 volts at resonance somewhere near resonance that is 20 k so that will be 3.2 into 5 and then finally we will take at the longer range so at currently i will taking I will be taking a reading at 14 megahertz currently I am taking a reading and now it will go down again so at resonance it was max again at 14 megahertz it is 1 2 3 4 point 8 into 5 so we have to take three readings in that then in our journal we are given a semi-log paper so we will plot one reading at 100 Whatever voltage we are getting, we are we will divide it by input voltage that is 20 volts peak to peak and then 10 log of that into 20 will give me a decibel. So this complex formula is written here 20 log V out that is whatever we are measuring divided by V in which is a constant for all the three readings and this is log is with respect to base 10. So we will go back to the frequency plot this is 100 then the next line is 2 3 4 5 so it is coming nearer and nearer so it's a logarithmic plot this is log versus decibel so this is this paper is called a semi log paper and we will plot whatever db getting we are getting we will plot that remember this is not an amplifier so your gain will be below 1 that is in points and in points if you take log that will be negative so below 0 db point your all the plots will come that's it with the rlc then the maxima we will select and we will draw a straight line from the maxima 
order frequency we are getting at the maxima that will be my center frequency that is omega naught which should be theoretically useful with 1 by root lc if you are taking a frequency it is 1 by 1 over 2 pi root lc so this will be calculate resonant frequency by graph and resonant frequency by calculation thank you